I appear as counsel for the Provincial Crown. I'm counsel for the Crown on number two, which is for Layden, and I believe he's on the phone. I am on the phone. Can you hear me? Not this gentleman. Mr. Berladen is out of custody. Thank you. Do we have uh, Daniel Berladen appearing by way of telephone? Uh, you, you do. Can you hear me? Mr. Berladen, can you hear us? Can you hear me? You are no longer muted. Can you hear me? Yes. I'm sorry, somebody did something to change the settings in the phone, and this has never happened before. Luckily, I remembered that it's press star six. Um, this is Daniel John Berlin. Okay. Yes. Um, Your Honor, I'm prosecuting this matter, and um, I, at this point, it seems like Mr. Berlin intends to be self-represented, so I would just want him to indicate to the court what his intentions are. Okay, so Mr. Berlin, I'm going to pause for a moment. Are you intending on retaining counsel, or do you expect to deal with this on your own? I haven't been able to, I, I can't find a lawyer that I can trust in this system that I cannot trust. So I'm representing myself. Okay. Now, the since, next since, then, since, are you intending on, hey, hang on, Mr. Berlin, a question for you. Are you intending on uh, agreeing that circumstances took place such that these folks have a basis to fear you, or are you wishing to set a hearing date with respect to the matter before the court? Am I... Am I wanting? Am I wanting to agree with these conditions that I believe are completely fraudulent and are uh, victimizing the victim, or do I want to go to court? Your argument. I'm just asking. Hang on, Mr. Williams. You may well have uh, a disagreement with the crown. I, I don't mean to hear the argument about it. Really, it's I understand. I understand. That's what I was repeating, trying to repeat so it was clear on what you're asking. Let me explain something. You, I'm in an impossible situation from this because I've been abused in the courthouse. This is fraud to me, what's happening right now. Uh, since these court proceedings began in October, I literally walked off the job at work. I haven't, I've barely worked in eight years because I've been abused so bad through these courts. So I haven't worked since... October. I should be making ten thousand dollars a month. I'm at minus two thousand. I have no credit, no money, no finances. Uh, this is it's triggered. I can't function, and I don't really believe. Uh, okay. Just let me just make some something here. I don't really believe Miss Barnes. Um, she sounded like I, I heard contempt in her voice. I just I don't really believe writing her is worthwhile. I was to write her. I couldn't even. I don't have the resources to operate. I'm already so victimized, I'm barely alive. And now I have these abusive, aggressive, totally ridiculous police. So I'm going to pause for a moment, Mr. Berlin. It sounds yes. like you've got some real challenges in your life, and I, I have no doubt those things will continue. But I'm just wondering if you're comfortable with that. Unless, I don't know if anything has been added. I've been I've received a copy in July, uh, and just just to correct Miss Barnes, there it's not. This is not a a choice of not emailing her. This is a uh, logistical issue. She does she needs to understand okay. that, that I that she needs to understand that I am the victim, which I've, I've I've explained tried to explain to her, and I've been extremely uh, victimized. I should be dead. My neighbors believe I should be dead from the abuse I've re I've received here already. Not from this exact case. Hang on, hang yes. on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, Mr. Relation. So, Ms. Barnes, has there been any additional disclosure from this July on this file? I was just looking, Your Honor. I can't see. Uh, 
I can't see that. I can't see that there has been, Your Honor. I can double check that. All right, and uh, I just want to ensure, Mr. Brindley, who's obviously had an opportunity to receive all the material that the Crown intends to rely upon. Um, my next question, Ms. Barnes, what would be your time estimate with respect to the hearing? Um, probably a day. Okay. I, I haven't seen a witness list, Your Honor, and I don't really know what's contentious, assuming that everything's contentious. I think um, that's probably a good assumption, given that Mr. Bladen is self-represented, and I expect um, he's not necessarily in a position to make admissions. So, um, presuming that, that the Crown needs to prove every element of um, the matters before the court, I gather that you're suggesting one day is sufficient? Yeah. Okay. I see there are two named persons. Uh, on the information. Uh, I don't know whether the Crown would intend to call any additional witnesses yes. beyond. Actually, the trouble I see that there's a number of statements of police, so I'm assuming that maybe we should say two days because if he's not going to make any admissions, which he can't really be expected to make, I might end up having to call all of these people. Okay. All right. So I gather that the Crown might intend to call a number of witnesses as well as Mr. Blumack and as well as uh, Ms. Kaslin. Yes. Okay. So, uh, Mr. Berlin, uh the Crown's estimate is two days with respect to this matter. I don't know whether or not you would uh, expect to present any evidence, and if so, what your time estimate would be for your presentation of evidence. Okay. Just, I, I understand you're in a rush here. I, I, I just want to make something very clear. I'm still backlogged from the fraud in these courts from 2016. That's nearly killed me. And this is just compiling more fraud on top of fraud so, so to answer your question um just so i understand she wants to call in every single officer and she wants to call in two witnesses so i believe that i believe that's i believe that's six that's, that's six people in total she wants she i'll have to be cross-examining all right is that is that correct is that, is, as far as I gather, that uh, the indication is there's about four police officers in addition to the two civilians. Um, there was a number, Your Honor. I haven't taken a deep dive into this uh, case uh, uh, in terms of what witnesses I would actually call or need to call. Um, but there are, um, I have, uh, yes, I have four police officers, it looks uh, looks like. May I, may I, make, a, may I make a suggestion? Miss Barnes, would you be interested in going semi casually in email line by line? Yeah, I, I would like you to consider my health. My, my health is in very poor shape. Maybe not line by line, but point by point. And we will get through this much faster. I don't even know what that means. Well, we'll take. Let me, let me, let me, let me just try to, try, to, try to be very brief here. We'll take the first paragraph of the first submission, and I'll write you my half of it. And we can go through the whole file that way, as as you have time. And then once we've done the file, we can come back to court. Because I'm not doing it. You're not doing that. Yeah. Because you'd rather win and kill somebody. And, 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 and you, it, <laughs> I've been through these courts. I've been through the fraud here before. So you have a very you have an injured person who's already a guilt. Who's already. Oh, man. You know what? So, Mr. Relay, really, I'm going to pause for a moment. Yeah. I, there's only so many things that I can do. I understand. Start recognizing you've got some frailties, and, and even if I accept all of what you said regarding your challenges, there's only two things I can do. I can schedule the matter for a hearing because it's contested, and you want to proclaim uh, your innocence and show that uh, there's a fraud that's been perpetrated upon you, and, and you do that by having a hearing. And it sounds like that's what you want. The, the time of the, for the hearing seems to be two days, which uh, seems appropriate to me. So I'm just going to pause for a moment. I know the information was sworn on in April of last year. So from the court's perspective, I would like to schedule this for a hearing as soon as possible. Um, Ms. Barnes, are you in a position to schedule the hearing today? Um, be, yes, I could do that today, certainly. All right. And Mr. Berlin, I recognize you're appearing by telephone. You'll need to appear in person for the two days for the hearing. And I'm certainly hopeful that you're, you'll be well. But we're not going to take the can further down the road. We're going to be scheduling a hearing so that you can uh, present your evidence and show that uh, uh, you really ought not uh, be bound by these conditions, all right? 
Right. And hang on. No, I'm not going to say. I'm not going to say what I was going to say. So I don't have the resources to okay. fight this. I don't have the resources to put the facts together. I don't have the resources to survive. And you're going to railroad me over with a bunch of lying fucking cops who've already lied in those files. And if she would get her head out of her fucking ass and go into the file, she would see police officers lying. They, they can't even trans... They can't, oh, fuck. I'm a victim of state-induced genocide. I'm a victim of state-induced genocide. These cops already tried to kill me. I can send my dates to the JCM today. I don't know how Mr. Berladen will do that. That would send me a very small me? Pardon me? That's the difficulty, but it will take a little bit of time to ascertain the dates regarding um, the police officer's calendars. So what, I, what I'd like to suggest is if the... Um, so Mr. Berlain, I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to direct that a two-day hearing be scheduled with respect to this matter. Um, as I understand it, as I say, you're contesting, you're not prepared to enter into a peace bond with respect to these two individuals. You have your right to do that. I'm not suggesting you ought to be entering into uh, a hearing, uh, my apologies, due to a peace bond in that regard. So we'll schedule a, a two-day hearing, and um, the matter will be adjourned to Monday, January 15th. Sorry, can I suggest that it go to Wednesday the 17th in a judge's court, please? Certainly. So what, I'm, what I'll ask this Barnes is that you provide your availability and certainly the officers so that the date can be organized prior to the next appearance. That's my yes, expectation. Your yes, Your Honor. All right. Okay. So, Mr. Berlayden, then um, we're going to adjourn the matter to Wednesday, January 17th at 9.30 in this court with the expectation that the court will have a two-day hearing uh, that can be set on that date, okay? I understand what you're going to do. I'm not going to agree to it, but I'll under I'll understand, and I will I will do my best to accommodate you what you're asking for. I'm, I'm, excuse me. Once more. I understand what you what you're what you're expecting. I think you, you might have to unmute yourself again, Mr. Berlain. I'm not muted. Have I been, has somebody, has somebody muted the telephone because, yeah, 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 a bunch of fraud. I can't speak. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I can now, please. I can now, yeah. Okay, because somebody is on the other side there is pressing mute. Is that how you run a courtroom? I understand what I, I understand you you're set you're setting you're you're adjourning this to January seventeenth. That's correct, nine thirty in court one. All right, thanks very much. That concludes this matter. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you.